everyone so it's been a little time since i filmed a youtube video and i've been getting a lot of requests to film a video on what i ate after my surgery and what i eat during my flares and i just want to make a video covering my diet and what i'll eat when i'm having pain or what i eat after my surgery because when you have an ileostomy bag your diet is restricted and you can't eat a lot of things because of the way your body is processing the food some things can get stuck so I came up with a little list of things and I'm just going to go over that with you guys and I hope it helps. You want to know my diet, just keep on watching. So when I had my first ever surgery for Crohn's, that was November 5th or 4th, and that was when I was given a temporary ileostomy bag. So I had my bag for three months and during those three months I couldn't eat certain things like roughage, nothing with seeds, so no type of fruit. I couldn't eat like corn, things that were small that could get stuck. Nothing like gummy-like, so no candy. So I had to stay away from things that I know could give me a blockage or get stuck in my intestine. Also, I had to eat a lot less sugar because when you have an ileostomy bag and you eat sugar or something sweet, it makes your output higher, which makes you go more and your bag fills up quicker and then you could easily dehydrate, which when I had my ileostomy surgery, I obviously, this was the first time for me, I was getting used to these changes and the diet and I fainted about two or three times while having my ileostomy bag because I didn't realize how much was coming out and how much you have to actually replenish and put back in. So first thing I would say is after having a surgery, bag or not, you should really make sure you're drinking a lot of water. I couldn't really drink Gatorade because Gatorade is still sugary, but I would drink a lot of water to prevent myself from fainting, which would happen. So after the surgery, I found eating things like soup, that was the major thing, broth, white rice with broth one of my go-to's whenever I'm feeling sick or recovering from a surgery because I did have two surgeries um, any type of chicken I get bored of grilled chicken so what I would do is have my mom bake me chicken cutlets kind of just to switch it up rotisserie chicken just be careful with the skin because that's like the fat that could get stuck so I would eat any type of chicken basically any type of chicken in the oven that's soft I stay away from all spicy foods. I don't like spicy personally, but I know it's not good for you when you have Crohn's and you're in a flare. So I would stay away from spicy food. Another thing I would eat is turkey meatloaf or turkey chopped meat. I would put it in a taco, put some rice, some cheese. Um, if you're lactose intolerant, you could use like a dairy-free cheese. I would use dairy-free sour cream. I found that eating tacos would hurt my stomach sometimes or give me more gas. I think it just depends how you season the meat. You have to be careful and kind of give me like that reflux. So anything turkey chopped meat, any type of meat like that, I would love to eat. And another thing which they gave me in the hospital and I would love to eat when I came home was mashed potatoes. It's a good side for a meal and it fills you up and they're really easy to just digest. So mashed potatoes and then another thing is mac and cheese, which if you're on a low fiber diet, mac and cheese probably is not something that you can eat but if you're not you can i found that mac and cheese kind of made me go a little more i was on low fiber with the ileostomy bag so i wasn't eating that all the time it was just like a treat for me if i wanted a little mac and cheese another thing i love to eat is any type of soft roll or bread so just white bread with a little smart balance or potato rolls with a little smart balance you could put some jelly on the side as a snack I love eating that. I'll eat those for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. That's just another side that I would have. And when I was in the hospital, they would always give me soft bread with margarine, so I would eat that. Another thing is, when you have an ileostomy bag, since you can't eat vegetables really, the only vegetables I could have was either the mashed potatoes or carrots. They had to be canned carrots that my mom would have to steam for me and cook really soft. If they weren't cooked like that, I couldn't eat them. Like a plain carrot was way too hard to digest. So the only vegetables I ate during those three months was the potatoes and the soft carrots. Now, when I had my ileostomy bag, there was actually times where I would get blockages or not necessarily blockages, but I would get constipated. So I did drink iced coffee. Um, like I said, the less sugar, the better. I would try to not put as much sugar and just drink the coffee to help me go, which it always helped. And also I would eat things like cookies and stuff like that or like pound cake but in moderation so if i wanted a snack at night i would let myself have that little bit of sugar but when you have an elastomy bag if you're eating sugar at night your bag is going to be going throughout the night 
So I would have to wake up one to two times to empty my bag in the middle of the night because if you eat closer to bed, that sugar is going to make you have to go. So that was the only downfall of that, but you can still have sugar, you just can't eat a whole bunch of it. So for breakfast, one of my favorite things to have is spinach eggs, but when I had my bag, I could not eat spinach. So I would eat things like plain eggs, turkey bacon, I would eat waffles, pancakes, things like that are really good for me when I'm in a flare. Just a plain waffle or a pancake. They're easy on my stomach, they don't hurt my stomach. Um, peanut butter toast, I loved peanut butter toast and I still do. So peanut butter toast would give me good protein and it just filled me up easily. You could eat that for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. Me personally, I would just run out of ideas of things to eat, so that was another thing that I enjoyed. Also, low fiber cereal. So the only low fiber cereal I remember finding was a special K one. And it was a little plain, but that with lactose milk is another thing that I could eat for breakfast or as a snack, and it filled me up and it was good for my bag. So, one thing that Ilyasmi nurse told me was that eating marshmallows would thicken your stool. So if I felt that my bag was too watery or my output was super high, I would just eat like a few marshmallows, whether it was one big one or a bunch of mini ones, and this would actually thicken my stool. Another thing I found good to thicken my stool was peanut butter. So like I said, the peanut butter toast or just eating a spoonful of peanut butter, that helps to thicken your stool. And then lastly, bananas was great. So I personally am allergic to raw bananas, so I would eat like banana bread or any way you could cook a banana. That would actually help to bulk up my stool because it was thick, like the banana bread. So my mom would always make me banana bread muffins. I would eat them like for breakfast, lunch, dessert, whatever, just as a snack. So those were like the two things that I ate that really helped thicken my stool. So I know this wasn't a lot of things, but I hope some of these things did help you guys. Whether you're having surgery, ileostomy bag or not, these are just options that you could eat. Um, I know everyone's dietary restrictions are different when it comes to Crohn's and also everyone reacts differently when they're, when they're in a flare. So some people may be able to eat roughage, some people maybe not. Um, these are just things I eat personally after my surgery. So when I had my ileostomy bag reversed, I was able to start introducing in vegetables and stuff, but I didn't do that for the first month. So this is just my diet and what I eat, and I hope it helped you guys. And if you have any questions or you're having an ileostomy surgery, you could comment down below and I'll answer any of your questions. Have a good day.